the high energy laser weapon system called Hellwiz uh, is able to use an invisible beam of light and using electrical energy to put a specific power onto a target uh, like a drone to help rapidly defeat at a very minimal cost. Many times it costs as little as a cup of coffee every time you fire the weapon. The system is currently deployed with the U.S. Air Force, uh, the U.S. Army, and the U.K. MOD is now taking ownership of their first system. Uh, these systems have been out in the field with over 25,000 operational hours and de have defeated over 400 different types of drones. One of the great things about the high energy laser weapon system is its ability to integrate with a variety of different radars and command and controls. Uh, one example is recently we held a demonstration with the NASAMS Fire Distribution Center where we had interoperability with the high energy laser. The NASAMS Fire Distribution Center assigned the target and the laser defeated the target all in one system. We ran several targets over a variety of days, including swarms. High energy laser weapon system is meant to be a part of a total air and missile defense posture, meaning it's kind of an inner ring. It's the very short range of all of the air defense. And so that means that it can work with a variety of different air defense systems, including all of the Polish systems here today. The range can vary on, on the, the power level of the system. You can make it smaller or you can make it larger depending on your mission but out beyond five kilometers is, is easy for engagements. I think the Ukrainian conflict is a great example of when it might be appropriate to use lasers to help supplement. Keep your regular missiles for the larger, more dangerous, more long-term targets and using lasers to help defeat these very cheap drones with a very simple and cost-effective solution. Raytheon is discussing several pieces of information with the Polish government uh, regarding both lasers as well as other air and defense uh, systems.